Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your macros by turning off the screen updating feature in Excel. Now if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com search for the video tutorial and you can download it there. So what I'm going to do is show you a macro that I have created and uh, show you what it looks like just with a regular macro with screen updating and then show you um, what it's going to be like if I turn screen updating off and you will see a dramatic increase in the speed of the macro when it's turned off. So what I've got here are um, stock prices or stock um, data from Yahoo Finance for Bank of America and I have daily returns. So I have, let's see, almost 6,000 returns right here and I want to sift through them with a little macro that I've created to um, return over here the date and the price um, of the stock for every closing price that was greater than $25. Now, um, okay, so let me go ahead and show you the macro I've gotten. I'm going to use the shortcut Alt F11. And here is the macro. So, um, very simply, this calculates the last row. This is going to um, help me display the data correctly. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that's important, if you know much about macros, this select statement is not necessary. The only reason I put it in here is to illustrate the screen updating features. Now, in a lot of macros, you may need the select statement there because you may have to use offset, and it's much easier to use offset in a relative reference rather than having to keep updating the offset property. May sound confusing, whatever. This is the macro, and um, it's basic. So let's go ahead and run it. I'm going to hit Alt F11 to close this, and Alt F8 to open up the macro window. Check prices. So let's run it and see what happens and how long it takes. So you can see, kind of looks cool, right? Sifting through all the data, but it takes forever. Alright, finally we're done. Now let's go back to the top and see what we've got. Alright, look at all this price data we have. Good stuff. This is actually a pretty cool thing to do with stock returns. Uh, and you can do a lot more powerful things with better macros. But that's what it's like with screen updating on. So let's go ahead and turn it off now. So I've deleted all of this data. Now Alt F11. So to turn screen updating off, simply type. Actually, let me increase the size of this font first, real quick. There we go. So you've already seen the macro. You don't need to see it now. Turn screen updating off. Application dot, as soon as you see the period and this little menu open up, you know you're on the right track. Screen updating. Oh, and there it is. So application dot screen updating equals false. And these little hints let you know that you're doing everything right. So application dot screen updating equals false. Alt F11. Let's go ahead and run the macro again. Alt F8. Run. And wow, it was what 20 times faster without screen updating. Amazing, it really is. Now the one last thing you're going to want to do in your macros is make sure that you turn screen updating on when you're done. So at the very end of your macro, just good practice, application dot screen updating equals true. Just make sure you turn that guy on. Alt F11 to close it. And there you go. That's really all there is to it. Um, so I'll just leave with the macro actually so you can make sure you see the syntax right here and you've seen how quickly it speeds up your macros um, so that's it for this tutorial if you'd like to get the macros you see here or the workbook go to teachexcel.com search for the tutorial download it there and that's it for this tutorial